picks it up. And it's taken at the 15-yard line by Philip Ward. And Ward is swarmed as he got back to the 30-yard line. So it's going to be first down and 10 yards to go. Randy Scott downfield to make the down. Take to Abercrombie. Jeffrey going long. Fisher incomplete. Fisher had 22 receptions and six touchdowns during the regular season and the punning and it's coming up. Kim Clark is in a wide right. The option play and there's the pitch taken by Jones and he is across the 50 yard line. It'll be marked at the 48 yard line. Van McElroy and Charles Benson on the stop. They've got Tim Clark back in there in the wide left right now. Stay in that fish ball. Man, wide open. And he wide is, open. And he's gathered in down at the 27 yard line by Billy Jackson. The fullback Billy Jackson was wide open. Wide receiver to the right side. Jacobs waiting for the snap. And he gives it to Carter. Carter, 25, 20. Carter to the 15 yard line. And McElroy up from his free safety to make the tackle. There's a fumble on the snap. Fumble on the snap. Alabama recovered, I think. Jacobs dive forward to recover his own fumble. We're going to have Peter Kim in now to attempt a field goal. This will be a 29-yarder. Peter Kim, born in Seoul, played at Honolulu at Hawaii, transferred, and the field goal is good. Peter Kim booted it through from 29, and the Crimson Tide of Alabama has gone out in front of Baylor here in the first quarter by a score of three to nothing. Radar holds far to the left side. Abercrombie bobbles the pitch. Abercrombie can go nowhere, and he stopped at the 16-yard line. Of course, that time, the quarterback pitched it out. Uh, you've got to worry about the pitch. It was a bad pitch. And Jeffrey is pulled down by the tied defense. It's got to be spotted near the 8-yard line. Another loss. That's Holgerby in motion. The pitch is to Holgerby. Holgerby 45. Holgerby to the 41-yard line. He picked up seven yards on the play to make it second and three. Mike Singletary, defensive captain for Baylor, made the stop. Jones is up in that uh, slot position. He's been in, going in motion a few times, and now Majors, uh, Major Ogilvy's in the slot position also. The ball's tipped. It is tipped. It's deflected. Benson was in that tippet. It was intended for Bendros. The incompletion will bring up a fourth down. McNeil is dropping back. The little man, Gerald McNeil. 5'8", 139. McNeil at the five-yard line, back at the 10, and it's fumbled. It's loose, and Alabama has it at the 12-yard line. First and 10 at the 12-yard line for the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Joe Jones, who carried as a senior from Thomaston, Georgia, 5'11", 189 pounder. Average five and a half yards per carry during the season, and had two touchdowns. He's the left half back in the wishbone. Lewis fumbles, he's still got the ball, and he takes a loss. Outside the 10-yard line, Tommy Tabor, along with Lester Ward, fine linebacker, made the stop in there, and again, it's Grant Taub. As we said, he's born in Seoul, Korea. He went to Honolulu and played at the University of Hawaii, transferred, set out a year, and became the kicker for the Crimson Tide. Ida Kim's kick is good. And so again, Alabama, stopped by the Baylor defense, has gone to the field goal. They've made it good on the 28-yarder, and they're out in front by a score of six to nothing. Quarterback Jay Jeffrey had a completion percentage of 44.4. He had 13 interceptions during the season. He's got the ball, and he's going long. Incomplete. No flags thrown. Oh, there, there's a flag. Yes, there is one. There it is. There's there it is. Yes. Third and seven here. Jeffrey now fading the throw and gets it after Gentry, and Gentry's at the 20. And he goes out of bounds short of the 15-yard line. Dennis Gentry, all Southwest Conference halfback. Grasped half of the Baylor Bears, well aware that Alabama drove down twice. Got a field goal each time. If he can drive it all the way in and get a conversion, he'll take the lead. Pitch to Gentry. Abercrombie throws a block for him. And the ball is fumbled. Scramble is on at the 8-yard line. <laughs> Alabama players think they recovered. You'll get the official signal in a moment. And they did. Alabama got the ball. 
Lewis from the end zone. And a safety, a safety, a two-pointer. Lewis is dropped in the end zone by Tommy Tabor. Tommy Tabor got Lewis in the end zone for a two-pointer. Long high spiraling kick, McNeil at the 34-yard line. 35, 40, 50, 45, McNeil to the 40. And hauled down from behind by Clements. Mike Clements made the saving tackle. Radar Holt in motion across. There's that penetration again, Lindsay, and it's going to cost him. Intercepted at the 18-yard line by Castillo. Castillo going out of bounds at the 16-yard line, at the 24-yard line. Don't, I beg your pardon. It is Patrick. And Patrick from the left side gets it up there across the 35-yard line. Ogilvy in motion outside right, covered out there. Patrick Carey. Struggles up to the 45-yard line for three, and he's stopped by Max McGarry. <laughs> Jacobs, going long, and it is taken at the 10 and on down to the five-yard line by Jesse Bendros. And he's stopped by Thomas Young. It's going to be first and goal at the four-yard line. Ogilvy, touchdown, up and over for the major. His ninth touchdown of this season. Second and eight at the 32-yard line. Jeffrey throwing. And it's gathered in. Good catch at the 40-yard line. Right now, Alabama's really doing the job. They're coming off their blocks. They're stringing it out. And Baylor's not getting very much on the option. Third and nine at the 42. Jeffrey again going long. And Fisher can't get it, and it's intercepted. Second by Jim Bob Harris. However, it is ruled an incompletion. Jim Bob's back there, along with Mike Clements, and they didn't have much of a chance. Stone gets it off. Major Ogilvy is That's ready. Going to let it go. Hits at the five. It's going to drop down at the three-yard line. So that one will be taken by the Crimson Tide, but deep in their own territory. They'll have it first down and ten yards to go. And about eight yards to go. Patrick again. Freshman halfback is simply out to the eight-yard line for not much. Jeffrey again. And Holt hits the deck at the 35. There is no flag. It's incomplete. Short yardage alignment here. Major Ogilvy. He's the money player, and he gets the first down at the 36-yard line. Here's a third and three. Ogilvy, and he's got the first and ten and yards to spare. Major Ogilvy to the 44-yard line. Van McElroy on the stop. Jeff Fagan's the right halfback. Ogilvy was undressed. His jersey ripped off. He left the field. Completed. Out into the right flat. Taken by Clark. Tim Clark, the receiver out there. Jacobs. Pitch to Ogilvy. Ogilvy has it, but takes the big loss. Well, there's he is pulled down. Second down play coming for the Baylor Bear. Gentry. Got it out there at the 22 yard line. EJ Jr. from Nashville, the All American defender, made the stop. Jeffrey cut off at the pass. Dropped for a loss back at the 18 yard line by Lyles. Warren Lyles got him. Jacobs dropped back there at the 43 by Tommy Tabor from Calvert, Texas. He gets it off under a heavy rush. They rushed the uh, punter a little bit too hard that time. Ball goes out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Punter is down, and there's a marker thrown. Lewis, quarterback draw, 40, gets it out to the 36-yard line, three seconds on the clock, which he stopped immediately, and this will be a 53-yard attempt. If good, it would be a new career long for Kim and a new field goal record for the Cotton Bowl. Kim's boot, short. 
is short. It goes underneath the crossbar. It is no good. Time has run out. So the teams head for the locker room here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, with Alabama leading by a score of 13 to 2. He's got the ball. Jacobs with the late pitch to Overby, and the major goes up to the 30 yard line. That'll be enough for a first and 10. Second down and seven yards to go. Go to the fullback Jackson and Billy Jackson, who averaged almost five and a half yards per carry during the season, moves it up to the 38-yard line before Doak Field, the defensive captain and linebacker for Baylor, makes the stop. That's Jones there. Gets it out there to the 43-yard line before McElroy makes the stop. Third down play coming now for the tie. Wide receiver to the left side. Jacobs. Late pitch. Taken by Patrick. Late mini Patrick stopped by Van McElroy. Third down play for the Baylor Bears. Jeffrey. 25. 30. Got the first down. Got the first and 10, and as he popped up. He came around last year, so this is his first full season, and he's a starting right tackle for Baylor. This is Abercrombie cutting back to the inside and struggling for the first down sticks. Byron Braggs of Montgomery is on the stop. Now they check for the possible first down. He may have got it. Dickie Mako is here this afternoon. He was inducted yesterday into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. The long pass from Jeffrey. And it is picked off. A penalty marker is thrown. Castile has the ball returning it for Alabama. Intended for Fisher, and there's a marker downfield. They're going to get Ricky Tucker for pushing. Now the throw to the halfback. Taken by Orcutt. Orcutt is up to the 44-yard line. McNeil. Has got it at the 23, drops the ball at the 25, and Baylor's got it. I mean, uh, Alabama's got it. Alabama's got it at the 25-yard line. Third and five at the 21-yard line for Alabama. Big third down play coming here. Gray, and he is dropped at the 25-yard line. Let's go down to Frank Lieber. Humphrey is in the hole for Kim, who will attempt a 42-yard field goal. He has field goals at 28 and 29 yards. The ball is down. Kim boots it up. And it's good. Just got over the crossbar. 42-yard field goal, third of the day for Kim. And Alabama leads in the ballgame by a score of 16 to 2. Kim from Seoul, Korea. They had the five-man rush. They've been rushing the passer. They've been rushing the run. They've shut down Baylor's run. I think it's upset Baylor. Mangrum carrying the ball. He dives out to the 31-yard line. Mangrum's got a great arm. He's got an excellent arm. And they're going to have to start throwing this football. They're doubling Fisher and Holt to the left side. But they get a fumble. Mangrum fumbled it after he had got first down yardage. Alabama recovers. Patrick. Keeps spinning and gets down to the 26-yard line. They need a yard on fourth down at the 24-yard line. The Baylor defense moves in. Singletary, the middle linebacker, getting set, moves up. There's a quick pitch taken by Patrick. He fumbles the ball, and Baylor has the ball. It is Thomas Earl Young, number 32, who recovered first and 10 at the 29-yard line. This is a third down play, third and 15. We have 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Andrew. Good arm, and it is gathered in. yard line the radar up into the air and he is stopped finally at the 41 yard line radar hold in motion across taken by Mangrum late pitch Gentry gets it but look at all the white jerseys 
Petrie got it and didn't especially want it there. Wilcox was the first to get to him. And it is Jackson carrying the fullback across the 20-yard line. Singletary in to make the tackle. Five receivers left and right. Fisher to the right side. Wade Arahol to the left side for quarterback Manger. He's trying to wedge him out and get the first down. He got it. It is a Baylor first down as the 200-pound quarterback, David Migram, simply wedged him out. No one's blocking that blitz right there. Nobody. Nobody. Gary De Niro in and dropped him at the 50-yard line. It was a time when Bear Bryant had a reputation as having trouble in bowl games. Alabama came in here having won five in a row. Intercepted on the deflection by Harris, and Jim Bob Harris returns it. And so Alabama gets the ball as a marker dropped on the far side. The ball is spotted at the 43-yard line. Okay, we're going to have two fouls. That's the live ball foul clipping on Alabama. Now we have dead ball foul, Baylor, the other way. Okay, bring it back. Five receivers left and right now. That's Major Ogilvy. And he gets it out there in the 45 yard line. Jacobs, back and looking. And running. And throwing. And it's complete. Taken by Larry Brown. Larry Brown down to the 24 yard line. Jones is carrying to the 15, to the 10, and out of bounds inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Joe Jones from Thomaston, Georgia. Over and back. No contact. Ogilvy. Major Ogilvy. Stopped just short of the goal line. Inches away. Mark cut in motion. Quarterback. Touchdown. Don Jacobs took it in. Don Jacobs, the quarterback, took it in over his right guard. One of the legends of our time, Paul Bryant. New quarterback, Jay Jeffrey, back in there. Completes this one. Gets it up to Gentry, and Gentry gets across the 30-yard line. Now to try the draw play to Abercrombie, and Abercrombie is dropped at the 29-yard line for a loss of two. To make it second down and 12 yards to go. Eddie Lowe made the stop. Listen up, Brown to the right side. Makes the pitch to his left half back. And it's Joe Carter. Carter now back to the Joe outside. Good. Joe Carter putting back and he's on his way. Joe Carter finally brought down by a saving tackle made by Cedric Mack, number 37. The score indicates the type of game it's been. Gibson and Singletary has come out for Baylor. And now, it's to the two-yard line. But Alan Gray carrying. A minute and a half remaining. Alabama leading 23 to two. Fourth down and goal to go. Now the pitch out, and there he goes. It is Nixon there for the touchdown. Fake to the fullback, gave it to Mark Nixon. He took it in unmolested, as we say. Fishers come in and say, what do you got? What do you got? And it's reported to the referee, and he sorts it out. There's the pass play complete. Taken by Philip Ward, and Philip Ward's at midfield. He gets to the 50-yard line. Clock is stopped with 50 seconds left to play. Alabama, of course, is in a prevent, prevent, prevent. They've got three lines, right? The line of scrimmage, uh, Middle line, and then they've got three guys back uh, past the uh, end zone. That is Fred Hall on the play up to the 34 yard line. Eddie Lowe made the stop. The clock is stopped now with 24 seconds as Baylor calls timeout to stop the clock. Only three coaches in the history of collegiate football have had 300 wins. This will be 306 for Paul Bryant, Bob Warner, Amos Alonzo Stagg, the other two. Jeffrey rolling. Time has run out. The ball's in the air and it is incomplete and the game is ended. Batted down at the end line as the game ended. And Alabama has won the ball game by a final score of Alabama 30 and Baylor 2. And you can see Paul Bryant in the mass of media representatives and players and others out there as they come across. And so 
For Roger Starbuck and Frank Lieber, this is Lindsey Nelson saying so long from the 45th Cotton Bowl Classic in Dallas, Texas. Be sure to join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern for the Peach Bowl.